know, say you maybe build a new house and you're looking at your different options and how you want to heat and cool your house. There's many different options you can go with. Here, we're going with a gas powered, high efficient furnace. Now, your cooling works through your furnace also, which requires your condenser on the outside of your house. It's gonna circulate through your furnace, through your coil, and what it's doing is without using the heating element to your furnace, your fan is powering it and blowing your cold air up through your duct fans. Now, some people may not want to go with gas. You also got the option of electricity. Electric, electricity, electric powered furnaces are more of an efficient type of furnace. I mean, you're not going to waste no heat out through the vent of your house. But also, they may not, some people may not like the way they heat as well. Now, some people may also want to do away with the furnace altogether and go with a boiler system. Your boiler system, basically, you're working on the hot water heat. Hot water goes through your pipes, radiates through your house, and it's another way of heating your house. Now, a lot of people like this way a lot. Your boiler might be a little bit more expensive than your basic furnace, but it's also very efficient. Another option may be electric baseboard heating. If you got the space in your house, you may want to go this route, but it's strictly electricity. A lot of people don't want to go with the gas. They might get the gas for the gas brakes or the electrical brake not using gas. So you can go with your electric baseboard. But some people don't like that because if you got kids, kids throw stuff on top of your baseboards and you got potential for fire. So whatever way you go, Use your best options, best atmosphere, and you can make your own decision.